The next stop on our tour of the solar system is Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury is one of the five planets that can be seen from Earth with the naked eye. Because it is so close to the Sun, Mercury can only be seen just after sunset or just before sunrise. Due to the planet's quick movement across the sky, ancient Greek astronomers named it after the messenger god Hermes. The Romans later changed the name to Mercury, which is what we call it by today. Galileo was one of the first people to observe Mercury through a telescope, but since the planet was so small and far away, he wasn't able to see much. Later astronomers with better telescopes were able to see that Mercury actually has phases like the moon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, averaging about 58 million kilometers away. This is only about a third of the distance from the Earth to the sun. However, Mercury's orbit isn't a perfect circle. At its closest point, Mercury is only about 46 million kilometers away from the sun, while its furthest point is almost 70 million kilometers. Mercury orbits the sun once every 88 Earth days, but it rotates on its axis every 59 days. This means that Mercury rotates three times for every two Mercury years. This also means that even though it takes 59 days for Mercury to rotate, the Sun actually takes an entire Mercury year to travel through the sky. One solar day, from sunrise to sunrise, takes two Mercury years. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, with a diameter of about 49,000 kilometers or 3,000 miles. It is larger than our moon, but is smaller than Mars. Mercury is actually smaller than Saturn's moon Titan and Jupiter's moon Ganymede. Mercury's surface gravity is about 0.4 that of Earth's. It is the second densest planet after the Earth. This is because of Mercury's heavy iron core which takes up about 70% of its interior. Mercury is difficult to observe from Earth because of its small size and proximity to the Sun, so our scientific knowledge of it was very limited. This all changed with the Mariner 10 mission in 1974. After passing Venus, the unmanned space probe flew by Mercury three times, giving us our first close-up views of the planet. However, because Mariner 10 only flew past one side of Mercury, it was only able to map about half of the surface. Phase 15 seconds, lock stopping now, underway. Green board, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, main engine start, 2, 1, and 0, and liftoff of Messenger on NASA's mission to Mercury, a planetary enigma in our inner solar system. Which program is in? Which program is in? In 2004, NASA launched Messenger, the first space probe designed to orbit Mercury. After a few flybys in 2008, the space probe began orbiting the planet in March of 2011. For the first time, scientists were able to create a detailed map of Mercury's surface. Mercury is covered in craters like our moon. It has hardly any atmosphere, so there's nothing to stop asteroids and meteors from crashing into the surface. These craters range in size from small to large, but the largest crater is the Caloris Basin. First discovered by Mariner 10, the Caloris Basin is one of the largest craters in the solar system. It is over 1,500 kilometers wide. The impact that created this crater was so intense that it sent shock waves through the planet and created weird mountains on the opposite side.
Mercury is also covered in strange cracks and cliffs called wrinkle ridges. These may have formed as the Mercury's core cooled and the planet contracted. Being the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury's surface temperature is, unsurprisingly, very hot, reaching over 400 degrees Celsius during the day. However, without an atmosphere to trap the heat, Mercury's night side can reach temperatures as low as negative 170 degrees Celsius. Despite Mercury's hot days, the messenger probe detected water ice in the bottom of some craters on Mercury's north and south poles. Because these craters never see sunlight, the ice can survive without being melted and evaporated. Another interesting discovery about Mercury is its magnetic field. Most rocky planets and moons don't have magnetic fields, but Mercury, due to its massive iron core, has a magnetic field that is about 1% as strong as Earth's. Mariner 10 was the first to detect it, and Messenger created more detailed observations. After orbiting Mercury for over four years, mapping the surface and making countless scientific discoveries, Messenger began to run out of the fuel it needed to stay in a stable orbit. As a result, NASA flight controllers ordered the space probe to use its last bit of fuel to crash into the surface, which it did on April 30th, 2015, becoming the first man-made object to do so. But this is not the end of our exploration of Mercury. In a joint mission between the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, scientists and engineers have begun building the next spacecraft designed to explore Mercury, called Bepi Colombo. Bepi Colombo is scheduled to launch in 2017. It'll fly by Mercury several times before orbiting it in 2024. The mission will then split up into two probes, which will both orbit Mercury at the same time. The Mercury Planet Orbiter, or MPO, will study the planet's surface, while the Mercury Magnospheric Orbiter will study its magnetic field. Though we have made many amazing discoveries, there is still much to be learned about this closest planet to the sun. This scorched and frozen little world may still hold some secrets for us to discover. Even though Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, it is actually not the hottest planet in the solar system. We'll be visiting that planet next time.